Hi friends, it's Teacher Lore here again. Today I'm going to read you Toy Boat by Randall DeSave and Lauren Long. A little boy had a toy boat. He made it from a can, a cork, a yellow pencil, and some white cloth. The boy loved the boat and they were never apart. They bathed together and they slept together. And every day they would go down to the lake and sail all afternoon. The boy held the boat by a string and never let go. Most of the time, this was nice for the boat, but sometimes the little toy boat would look out at the big boats gliding across the lake and would wonder what it would feel like to sail free. You can see the string right there, just barely. One blustery afternoon, a dark cloud rolled over the lake. The boy's mom pulled him back toward the house. Her tug made him drop the boat's string. The boy cried out as the little toy boat floated away. Boat, he called, boat, but nothing could be done. Wind and rain pushed the little toy boat into deep water. There it bobbed on high waves topped with foam. Ooh, that looks scary. In time, a black and green tugboat with a row of old tires on its side chugged past. Its windows looked like tired eyes that seemed to say, move along, as it pushed the little toy boat aside with its wake. You can see the tired eyes right there. The little toy boat worked so hard to stay afloat, it almost didn't see the giant fairy in its path. The fairy had two flags and a red smokestack and a horn that bellowed, move along. A gust of wind blew the little toy boat out of the way just in time. A speedboat raced by, flat and sharp with flames on its side. Its motor screamed, move along. Its draft made the little toy boat sail quiver. Feeling small and scared, the little toy boat drifted out toward a fleet of sailboats racing home to get out of the rain. Now my friends, look at how tiny the little toy boat is compared to all the other boats. You must feel kind of scared. The little toy boat neared a large sloop. Its hull was white and its sails were trimmed in blue. For a moment, the two boats cut through the choppy waves side by side, and the little toy boat felt big. Then the white boat tilted high on its side, spraying the little toy boat with water, warning, move along. Oh, it's whole near full, it's sail soaked. The little toy, boat looked, little toy boat looked like it would sink. How it missed the boy. Now, I don't know about you, but what do these look like to you, these drops of water? I mean, clearly he's soaking wet from the ocean, but they kind of look like tears to me. Under the yellow moon, the little toy boat drifted all night, alone and scared. Then, early in the morning, putt, 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 it was a humble little fishing boat way out in the middle of the lake. Its paint was peeling and the dents on its sides said it knew how it felt to be pushed around on the lake. The fishing boat spied the little toy boat and carefully began to circle it. As it did, something wonderful happened. The little toy boat began to turn as well, and its sail caught a breeze. Soon it was sailing, really sailing, alongside the fishing boat. And the little toy boat felt strong. I am moving along, it shouted to the wind. Oh, look at how 
strong he looks now. It felt so good that it didn't notice when the fishing boat motored on. It didn't notice the stone beach or the yellow bench on the nearby shore. And it didn't notice the boy. Not until he called out, Boat! Boat! The little toy boat waved its sail excitedly. The boy waved back. Oh, they must feel so excited. That night, they bathed together. They slept together. And the next day, they went down to the lake together. The boy held the boat by a string and every so often let go. But the little toy boat always came back. It knew just where it wanted to be. Here they are, happy together again. And my friends, if you look at this toy boat in the back, what materials do you notice it might be made out of? I see some sticks, a pencil, and some string. Maybe that's a tin can. I'm not sure exactly. I think that's a cork. Yeah, that's what they said. But you can check out stuff around your house. Maybe you can make a fun toy boat out of things that you find. That could be a fun project. Uh, well, thank you for joining me for another book, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.